Hi everyone. Let's take a look at the following example. Find the antiderivative of e to the power of kx with respect to x where k cannot be zero. Step number one, when you think about the integration or the antiderivative of e to the power of kx, first you copy e to the power of kx and you have to divide by the derivative of kx which is going to be k. And of course, because you're finding the antiderivative, we're not looking for one answer. We're looking for infinite many answers. So c is basically a constant, where c is an element of real numbers. Now, if you want to double check your work, you can always go back and find the derivative. So again, when you think about the derivative of, oops, let's try this again, double check. There we go. When you're trying to find the derivative of the answer, ideally, you would get the question back. Let's find out. So if y equals to, again, we have one divided by k times e to the power of kx plus a constant c, the derivative, and again, you can write down dy by dx, or you can write down y prime, this equals to, I'm going to follow the rules that we've learned. You take 1 divided by k times e to the power of kx times the derivative of kx, which is k. So notice how 1 divided by k times k, it's going to cross out. Maybe I'll put it back in so you can see the steps here. You can cross that out. I'll use a different color for you. Cross it out. Oops. Let's try again different color, cross it out, and you get exactly e to the power of kx back as expected. And again, notice the constant when I take the derivative, that's going to become zero. And this is how you can confirm we did it right. I hope this makes sense.